Hi, I'm Matt from eSpares. In this video, I'll be showing you how to change a heater on a Beko tumble dryer. If your machine is making all the usual noises during the drying cycle, but you notice there's no heat coming from the machine, it may well be that the heater has failed and it needs replacing. Safety first, always unplug an appliance before carrying out any work. There are three main reasons why a heater may fail on a tumble dryer. The first is the heat filter may be blocked and needs emptying. Secondly, the condenser is blocked and needs cleaning. And lastly, if the drying cycle is interrupted, heat can still rise from the heater and the lack of air circulation can mean that the thermostat trips. Now, before you go about replacing a heater, do check the thermostat on the heater first. If you compress the button in the center and you hear a click, that means it has tripped and is now reset, so there's no need to replace the heater. However, if you press that button and you don't hear a click, you'll need to replace the heater. To access the heater, you need to remove the heater cover and also the top of the appliance by undoing the screws. Before I remove the screws to the heater cover, it's worth pointing out that there are different screws on the back here. Some screw into metal and some screw into plastic. It's essential that you put these screws back in the same position that you took them out from. So with the heater cover removed, here we have the heater. To remove the heater, I first need to remove the cover up here that keeps the wiring in place for the heater. So to do that, I need to undo this screw at the top. Do be careful because some of these edges are very sharp. Once the cover is disconnected, you can then simply unattach the electrical connections. With the cover released, I can now pull the electrical connections through, as well as the rubber grommet that holds them in place. Then it's simply a case of unscrewing the heater and lifting it off. You can then grab your new heater, hook it into position, before putting the screws back in. With your new heater in place, you can then feed the electrical wires back through. making sure that the rubber grommet is firmly in position. You can then reconnect your electrical connections. before screwing the cover back into place, making sure that these hooks are in position as well. With the heater now fully connected, I can replace the heater cover. Again, just make sure that you're putting the correct screws into the correct position on the heater cover.
With the heater cover screwed into place, I can now replace the top of the tumble dryer. So there we have it, one new heater fitted to this Beko tumble dryer. Remember, spares and accessories for all the appliances around your home can be found on the eSpares website. Thanks for watching.